It is not only your product that I'm investing in, it's you that I'm investing in. We really do count on our network and our community to, to say good things about you. You're probably gonna spend more time with your investor than you do with your family over the next five to eight years. If you can't articulate why you and your company are worthy of their investment, that's gonna to be tough. Uh, why? What's the point? Are you doing this as a hobby because you're bored? If you're chasing the money, the, the challenges will overcome that. You better be an absolute nerd about that topic. You have to be like borderline obsessed about it. Others are going to come and catch up and maybe surpass. But how are you pivoting constantly so that you're ahead of it? It's really about executing at every single level of the organization. When you're thinking about a board member, Treat that uh, more seriously as a recruiting process than any executive or any partner you would hire. If you've got the wrong people, things will fail, and, and we've certainly experienced that. Early days, we brought in a lot of the wrong people. We got cocky and thought we're doing great, so we'll go open four stores. He said, no, do one market. And in hindsight, he was completely right. Sometimes we broke things, and we did a big upgrade one time, and that blew up on us, and our customers hated us for about six months or so. That's just, that's just a startup process thinking methodically about what step is going to actually move me further and what am I going to learn from it. And I think most entrepreneurs are too focused on the product or the service, not focused on how to deliver the product or the service. Look at where your product market fit really makes sense. Consumer feedback is so important. You have to be speaking with your consumer market all the time. People, consumers, want to know the backstory. They want to know who's behind the brand. Getting a massive following isn't as important as having a really engaged following.